Ah, the joy of snoozing and forgetting the world. It's a comfort zone. It's death with benefits. It's the best thing in the world. So can you even imagine if all of a sudden you simply could not sleep anymore? I think you can imagine a lot of messed up things would happen to your mind. But it's not as simple as getting tired, going crazy, and then dying. We'll make up a character known as Tim. Because a guy named Tim once hacked our account and we hate him now. <laughs> we will make him lose the ability to sleep and see what happens. Right then, picture this. Tim accidentally got a virus that was created in the laboratory for only, you know, research purposes. And it was released on Tim by a complete accident. This virus causes the infectant to lose the ability to sleep. And it's not just insomnia. We mean that Tim will not be able to sleep ever, not even for a second. The first most obvious consequence would be fatigue. Tim would be constantly turning in his bed trying to forget his sins and fall asleep. When he fails, he will wake up and he will start to lose his ability to think. The evidence of this is provided by a study conducted by experimental brain research. In this, a group of 18 men were given tasks to do after varying amounts of sleep. As sleep got less, the failure to complete the task got more, according to Wikipedia. This is because the body does more than refreshing when it falls asleep. It repairs tissues, muscles, and releases hormones to relax you overall. This is why it gets confused when there is no repairing time. Unfortunately, after the confusion time period, Tim will start to get giddy and happy, but his brain will have to compensate the lack of sleep by releasing excessive dopamine. Dopamine is the happy hormone, so Tim will start to act drunk, his reaction time will increase, and his speech will be slurred. After which, his brain will feel like it's on fire. During sleep is when the brain actually locks in information. Whatever you have learned the day before is processed and new synaptic connections are made, which are connections between nerve cells. More synaptic connections equals more information stored in your memory. No sleep equals no more information stored in your memory. The brain gets weirded out by this and feels like it's on fire. So let's make a list of what Tim would suffer through during the first 48 hours. Number one, fatigue. Two, emotional exhaustion. Three, lack of hand-eye coordination. Four, short-term memory loss. Five, lack of attention. And six, one to three second blackouts since the body and mind are exhausted. All of this will occur in the first 48 hours. The aftershock will be much more gruesome. You see, after 48 hours of no sleep, the body simply says, I'm done with your mischief and stops metabolizing glucose. So Tim will not only be acting like a hammered fool, he will soon start to lose the energy needed to act like anything. Now, before all the college students try to stay up 72 hours to get drunk, without spending money, let us tell you a little something about what happens after. Hallucinations. The brain is trying to make sense of why you are trying to kill it, basically. There is a tremendous lack of nutrients and energy since the body stops metabolizing glucose. So, your brain is exhausted and starts seeing things that aren't there. Also, these aren't fun hallucinations like seeing your crush propose to you. That's apparently too unrealistic to even hallucinate about. Tim will be seeing monsters and demons, a little bit of what a schizophrenic patient sees. This is because there is the same chemical imbalance in a mind with a disease and a mind that is exhausted. If you thought not being able to move and hallucinating stinks, try to stay up even further. After three days, Tim will definitely become a zombie and look like one as his skin will get pale and his eyes red. He won't be able to function like a human being. In fact, here is a list of things he will not be able to do from hour 48 onwards. 1. Move any part of his body except maybe his eyelids. 2. Think about ways to make trouble for us. 3. Think, in general. 4. Retain short and long-term memory. 5. Speak, unless it is like a zombie. Also, he will become even more stupid. So the last point needs some clarification. Remember when we told you that your body gets angry and stops metabolizing glucose? To survive, it breaks down muscle. Even then, our brain cannot receive energy properly without glucose, so the temporal lobe of cerebral cortex, which is the biggest part of our brain, will show zero activity. That's right, zero. Which is bad, because this is where we process language and information. So if someone is prone to seizure, oh boy, 
it could be having the greatest mall seizure of all time. Let's assume Tim has survived through all of this. Well, when he hits the two-week mark, his immune system would be so messed up he would die of a flu. Not even one of the fancy ones like bird flu, but by common flu. Loser. And if he managed to survive that by the third week, he would most definitely start getting heart attacks. Why? Well, remember when we told you that the body will start metabolizing muscle? Guess what the heart is made of? That's right. Muscle. Of course, it will try to avoid eating its own heart, but after most other muscles and fat reserves are depleted, it will stop caring. When it starts to metabolize cardiac muscles, which is the fancy word for heart muscles, the walls of the heart will weaken and cells will begin to die off. When a significant part of the heart dies, a heart attack occurs. So there it is, the fate of the dreaded Tim. He will die of a heart attack after weeks of suffering and acting like an idiot. Who would you like to release this virus on? Let us know in the comments below and we'll pin the best or funniest one. Make sure you like this video and share it with your friends, family, and especially enemies, so they get an idea of what's coming for them. Because if you don't subscribe right now, we will totally release this virus on them. So click that red button below. Thank you for watching. You all have a great day. Except for you, Tim.